My name is Hawk, and I want to teach you how to tie a fly. This fly I'm going to tie right now is called a caddis fly. It's a favorite of trout. This, probably all you know, is a hook. This is hackle. If you don't know what hackle is, I think it's chicken feathers. And there's like light colors, dark colors. I like using the darker ones. I pick this feather. It's pretty thin and cut just a teensy bit. This is my fly box. This is a ton of flies I've tied. These are called flies because they're like bugs. Like, actually, not many people like make like ordinary house flies. This is a grasshopper, as I told you. These little rubber things are the legs. I'm like 100% sure this is a beetle. This is dubbing. This is two kinds of dubbing mixed together. Now you'd start twisting the dubbing on and keep wrapping it around and around and around the hook till you get to the tip. This is not something that is like simple and easy. The better the hook, the harder it is to make it. So if you want like a really good hook, you have to work for it. Like, I'm serious, I wanna catch a fish with these. Like, in a way it's work, but I also do it for fun. So now you take this deer hair right here. This is what you would use for the wing. This is the hair stacker. Usually this takes me like 15 times. I've never cut a fish with one of my flies. Mm -hmm. No, because it wasn't the right season. And like that, pull it up, right onto the hook. Bingo. That is a caddis fly. There we go.